Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is so much at this side. A very happy new year to you guys. We have reached a milestone of 5,000 subscribers and I want to thank you guys to, to stick with me and see and help my channel grow. In the celebration of this 5,000 subscribers, I have brought a major giveaway from Geeks for Geeks. So uh, the giveaway contest will have two courses. Number one, the DS Algo Foundation course, which is of price 1499. And the second is SDE test series course, which is of price 299. The DS Algo Foundation course is extremely important for you guys who are starting out their preparation journey. And the SDE test series is extremely important for those guys who has a pretty good idea of data structures and algorithm and who want to use this test series as mock tests so that they can become more confident in taking interviews from top product-based companies. I have in total 12 coupons to give away for uh, the giveaway contest winners. Out of these 12 coupons, uh, 10 of which Geeks for, Ge Geeks for Geeks has already given and two of which Geeks for Geeks has given to me for my use, but I will be giving it away as well so that I can help you guys. What are the rules of the giveaway contest? Please hear them carefully and follow them. The rules are as follows. It's, it's pretty simple. You have to subscribe to my channel or you have to like this video. Uh, apart from that, you have to follow me in my Instagram page, link to which is given in the description below. You go there and follow me. I have already uploaded a picture giving the details of the giveaway. So you can go there, like that picture and comment there why you want a particular course or why you want the particular test series. I will be announcing the results of the giveaway on 8th on my Instagram page. So make sure that you follow that. I will be tagging you guys in the story there. Apart from that, you can also use the coupon code SOMAJIT to avail 10% off on any course that is present in Geeks for Geeks. Not only this, uh, Geeks for Geeks people have told me a super secret thing. They are having a sale on all of these courses on 8th, 9th and 10th of Jan. So even if you did not get the giveaway, you can certainly get these courses at a cheap rate in the sale on 8th, 9th and 10th of January and use my coupon code SOMAJIT so that you get an additional 10% off on that sale as well. Coming to today's video, in today's video, since Geeks for Geeks is already giving us so much, I decided to make a video to actually tell you how you can effectively use Geeks for Geeks to practice uh, data structures and algorithms from scratch, right from the beginning, as well as reduce the scope of the problems so that you don't have to solve all those 500, 600 questions in one topic, but instead can effectively just solve those 50 to 100 questions and master the entire topic. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi everyone, I will be discussing in detail how you can use the Geeks for Geeks website to kickstart your preparations to get into any product-based company that is out there. As I have always said, and I will still maintain my position, competitive programming is not necessary to get into a product-based company. One of the most frequent questions that I am asked is that in Geeks for Geeks, there are like around 500, 600 questions for one topic. So how do we filter out proper questions so that we can only effectively study a small subset of questions and gain as much experience as possible. I will be answering that question here as well. First and foremost, whenever you are starting any kind of data structure that you want to understand, what I would suggest is obviously go through the basics of those data structures. Now, how you can go through the basics of those data structures? There is one book which I would recommend to anyone who has a little bit of time in their hand to go through the basics. The book is basically known as CLRS or also known as Corman Data Structures in Elgo. Apart from that, what you can also do is head over to Geeks for Geeks and go to the Data Structures tab that is present. Now in this page, you can see there are several topics that are listed here. Let's say you want to actually understand arrays which is present here. So I would say that select the topic that is present here. What I would say is the main three things that we actually do in a data structure is insert a data into it, delete a data from it and search a data inside it. So if you actually understand these three concepts of any data structure, you have actually covered the basics of that particular data structure. Once you know these things, what, you, what I would suggest is you start practicing questions. Now, there are two ways in which you can actually practice the questions in Geeks or Geeks. One is going through the topics that are present here and going through the questions one by one. And the other one is to use the practice section of Geeks or Geeks. I will be explaining both in detail how you can maximize your efforts 
so that you can actually understand the entire concept understand and practice those questions effectively now uh, let's say you want to practice it from the main page where all the topics are listed and all the questions under one particular topic is listed here so the first and foremost question that i have been bombarded with or i have been asked here is how to actually limit the number of questions that you practice from geeks for geeks because there are literally around 500 600 questions per topic that is present here and there is a uh, apparently no way to actually understand which to do and what not to do so here i will tell you some of the attributes that a particular question has which can help you decide whether or not to do that question or to skip that question altogether let's say i have selected this shuffle a given array every piece of article that is present inside geeks for geeks obviously there's the theory of that article uh, the link to practice that article in an online judge apart from the actual solution for that particular article uh, there is one more little nifty piece of uh, feature of this particular page that you can actually use to your advantage and that is the difficulty level of that particular question so here you can see at the bottom as well as at the top of the article in the top left as well as in the bottom of the article you will see the current difficulty level of this particular question now i would suggest that you do not directly go and uh, assume this difficulty level to be absolutely perfect because this is a fairly new feature that has been implemented by geeks for geeks and it will require some time for it actually becomes an industry standard here. so what i would suggest is you go there and click on this particular uh, difficulty level what you will see is it will open a link which will contain all the articles which is present inside geeks for geeks and has been tagged as medium difficulty now what i would suggest is you open let's say you are practicing array let the difficulty level be medium and you press enter what will happen is it will open all the medium articles which are tagged as arrays so now what i would suggest is you randomly select 10 questions from the list of questions that are present here and come up with a solution of those questions you do the same thing for easy basic hard and expert difficulty levels so what i am suggesting here is that you go ahead and select the category that you want to learn the data structure you select that as the category and then one by one select all the difficulty levels that are present there in each of the difficulty levels that are present there you select at least five and at most ten questions and try and come to a solution of the questions that are present here by doing this process you will be able to understand for which difficulty level you are easily able to solve those questions without any problem at all and for which difficulty level you are not able to solve those questions or you require some amount of assistance from the solution that is present here or you require some amount of hint to solve those questions once you have identified your base difficulty level now what you will do is basically you will eliminate any question that is below that difficulty level so let's say your base difficulty level is medium which means you are able to solve the medium questions but you require some amount of hint some amount of assistance to solve those questions so what you will do is basically you will not touch the questions that are tagged as basic or easy and you, you will only solve medium or above based questions so this way you will be able to eliminate a chunk of questions directly by seeing the difficulty level that that question has this way you can considerably reduce the number of questions that you solve as well as increase the effectiveness of the questions that you are solving apart from that the other aspect where you can actually uh, solve the questions is the practice section of geeks for geeks let's say you are trying to solve array based questions so you select the topic as arrays and now you will be greeted with this particular practice page which has all the array questions that you can practice and submit on an online judge uh, similar to what we have done in lead code here as well we can select the tag of one particular question the difficulty level of one particular question we select that difficulty level we sort the question on the basis of accuracy and then start solving questions one after the other once you are fairly comfortable and are able to solve the questions of a topic at one particular difficulty level you can go to the next difficulty level there is no magic number of questions that you need to solve i have been asked this question multiple times that how many number of questions one should solve i will say it again here there is no magic number if you are able to solve medium based questions with proper understanding of the problem without any difficulty you are good to go that's it now let us come and we will discuss the giveaway courses that are present here i will quickly tell you the details of the course that i will be giving away first course is the ds and algo foundation course it is an exceptional course if you want to start out ds and algorithms data structures and algorithms it will help you master the basics of data structures and algorithms so that you can solve complicated problems easily without any problem this course is extremely focused on your interview preparations on your placement preparations and is important for anyone who want to crack uh, product based companies so this is the course this is the value of the course that i will be giving away whoever will be winning the giveaway this course will be completely free for you uh, you will get a lifetime access to this course uh, there will be lectures by industry experts uh, you can get internship opportunities at geeks for geeks itself as well as you will get a course completion certificate we can go through the course content the course content is huge and it contains all the data structures and algorithms that you will require 
to actually understand technical interview preparations. For example, it will have analysis of algorithms, it will have arrays, all the aspects of arrays, it will have recursion, it will have hashing, and so on and so forth. It will have string, searching, sorting, link list, uh, circular link list, double link list, stack, queue, DQ trees, binary search, greedy algorithms, dynamic programming algorithms, backtracking algorithms and so on and so forth who this course is more focused to this course is more focused to who want to start out their preparations for data structures and algorithms it is a very good course apart from this course i am also giving away this sde test series this is more focused for folks who uh, ha have the basic idea of of these data structures and algorithms and want a test series so that they can practice it there's a complete test series obviously the course cost here is uh, 299 i have multiple sde test series coupon codes as well which will completely reduce this price to zero and it will be completely free of course for you you will get lifetime access video editorials for all the coding problems that you will be solving as part of this test series so i will be giving away these two courses there are multiple coupon codes that are available with me for these two courses so do follow the giveaway rules that i have mentioned at the beginning of the video thank you guys for watching till now i really hope that you like my content if you do then please uh, like this video share this video with as much number of people as possible and subscribe to my channel if you have any queries from me, comment down below. I will make sure that I answer each and every query that you have. And reading the fact again, if you want to participate in the giveaway contest, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video and follow me in Instagram and comment on the post there saying why you want this giveaway. That will be it for today, guys. Thank you and have a nice day. This is Swamajit bidding goodbye. Das Vidanya.